This is an update for the My Tank is Cracked video. Uh, as you can see, the tank has been repaired by myself and a friend. Uh, I'll just tell you a bit about the tank. The tank is just under 9 foot long. It is 3 foot front to back and it has a 2.5 foot face. It's 12 mil glass and all the sills and struts are made with 10 mil glass. The tank holds 1600 litres which is about 350 imperial gallons if you're in the US it's about 420 gallons so quite a bit of water so originally what happened with the tank cracking in the first place I'll tell you a bit about that we have three front to back braces to either end and one in the centre they originally are siliconed onto the sills just by one glob of silicon here all the three were the same but the centre one had the silicon it had started to perish or I don't know what the name for it is but it was coming away and it wasn't really supporting the front of the glass allowing the uh, the weight of the water to bow the glass which caused this crack so what we've done to repair it we have got a new 10 mil sill if you can just see it here that is three foot long and that has been siliconed underneath the existing sill that has a crack in it as well it also has a crack so we we've siliconed the new sill underneath siliconed on the top of that it's been clamped together a few days ago so that's all gone off enough to support that also it's silicon to the face along here so that's giving it extra support along the face of the front panel so basically I've got a metre or just under a metre of a double sill on the front there supporting the face of this glass where this crack is we moved this centre brace from around here around four inches this way so the centre brace is slightly off centre now but the middle of the brace is in line with the crack and the crack in the original seal we also siliconed if you can see it at the back there you probably can't you'll probably be better to see it at the front we've siliconed the end of this brace to the face of the glass also silicon to the the original seal it's all siliconed round here with um, proper aquarium silicon also at the back it's silicon there so there's a lot of strength in this we hope now also we have put a six mil plate that's around two and a half inches wide by about two and a half inches long along the face the outside of the tank just to help support the um, the outside of the tank really to stop any more flex in it whether it does much or not I don't know but I'm hoping so also we have the same at the bottom exactly the same as the top plate um, as you can see the crack comes all the way down to the base this is a double base, it has a slightly smaller base on the inside here and then this is the main base on the bottom so the front panel just goes to the bottom of that base so it's still siliconed on to the inner base all the way across and the bottom here so the base has not been damaged by this crack at all also we've just ran a smear of silicon down the outside of this crack more so in case any water comes from the inside which I don't think it will but to stop any sharp edges catching fingers on it or anything like that also we've put a six millimeter plate on the inside along the crack it covers the plates around uh, about 
just over a foot which and the minimum width of the plate either side of the crack is around three and a half inches so we've got the plate on the inside that covers the whole of the crack the silicon down the crack on the inside of the plate also the lines of silicon here just to help support it it's also silicon across the top here all the way down the side so this should be completely watertight the wood behind here is just to whilst the silicon is going off just to um, push the plate against the glass so we've got a nice tight bond also these clamps at the top are just holding two pieces of wood to hold the top of the plate towards the face of the glass also we have just put extra silicon down the front of these original front to back strips just so there's an extra bit of grip on the face of the tank with the silicon there also this side front and back as well on all of the joints also we have run silicon along the top of the sill here a reline of it all underneath as well exactly the same on the rear as well so basically I think that's about it what we've done uh, we're going to leave this silicon around two weeks before we attempt to put any water in it we're going to put probably a quarter of a tank at a time in and fill it over around a week just to, so we can keep an eye on any movement in anything that we don't want I don't know if this is going to be fine it was a lot cheaper than replacing the whole 12 mil panel so I don't know hopefully it's going to be fine like you say it's only a 6 mil plate on the inside but because we've re-strengthened all this back up we're hoping that this is going to be enough to hold the weight of the water which we're talking over a ton and a half of water inside here so it's a bit of a scary moment when we come to putting water back in it also um, we have what else have we done that's about it just um, I was well with basically just spinning the tank round and having this if it holds the water fine after because we're going to leave it around a week to see if it's holding the water and if it's fine we're gonna drag the cabinet out and then spin the tank round and then the rear will be the new face of the tank and then I plan to be doing a internal 3d concrete and polystyrene background to cover the repair so the back of the tank isn't going to look crap um, it's going to wrap around the sides and hopefully everything will be fine touch wood if uh, anyone has any comments they'd like to leave on this video i'll be very grateful for your feedback and uh, thanks for watching bye